Hello, Silver fans. This is T, and you're in the place to be for silver education, acquisition, and entertainment. And hey, the place to be is Collector's Gallery in Oak Forest, Illinois. I'm back talking with Sherry. And hey, if you like coin shop videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I make a bunch of them. Okay, Sherry. Okay, hi, T. How you doing? Good to see you. Hey, thanks uh, for having me back over here. Well, thank you for coming. Hey, uh, so, you know, every time I come, I, I, the videos are really heavy on the stacking. Mm -hmm. And uh, I wanted to talk a little collecting okay. uh, today and maybe uh, take the old phone off the tripod and look around the store a little bit. Uh, I've heard about these uh, American women uh, or what, the, oh, American the American woman, women quarters. Yeah. yeah. Tell me about those. Uh, they were issued in 2022. It's a, a new series that the U.S. Mint is doing. Mm -hmm. It's a... Uh, can women you pull one of those out of there? Program honorees, I don't know. Uh -huh. Women who, this is the regular proof set. Okay. It, it contains the quarters and the regular proof set. Okay. And then here I just got the new mint sets also that has all the quarters. It's famous women for what they did. I don't know. What did they, what did these women do? Okay. So American 30 bucks. Women quarters program honorees. Uh huh. This first year was Maya Angelou, Dr. Sally Ride, Wilma Mankiller. Love that name. Absolutely love <laughs> Man that name. Mankiller. What? Nino Otero Warren and Anna Mae Wong. Okay. Now, I am not a historian, so I have no idea what each of these individual people did. I know that sounds really horrible, but it's yeah. not, not my area of interest. Interest or expertise. This one's got a Latina on it. That's yeah, interesting. Yeah. It's a little different. I think different. there's an Asian woman. There's, okay. I think, um, man killers an Indian, I believe. <laughs> I have no idea. You just like saying that name, don't you? I'm telling you. Who doesn't <laughs> like that name? <laughs> All right. And uh, so what's your... Uh, do so you I just... Do I just stuff? Yeah, I do, actually. Okay. Okay. I just got the uh, mint sets in yesterday. Okay. Um, when the mint released the quarters... The problem with this was they did the P's, the D's, and the S's in uncirculated, but these the bigger companies went in and bought them all out immediately. Okay. So I was not able to get any of the quarters to be able to sell as individual quarters. You oh. have to find them and change, unfortunately. I see. Um, so I'm not going to be carrying the individual quarters like I did in the past. I always carried all mm -hmm. the individuals for people to go on with that, and I'm not going to do that with this this year. So, mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's an interesting series, but... Really, we need another series of quarters. <laughs> really, uh, uh, but it, it's so, it's something to keep the interest, the interest from for the public. Uh -huh. Okay. What, what's your uh, general satisfaction level with the U.S. Mint these days? Oh my God, they're horrible! Absolutely <laughs> horrible! Horrible! Yeah, everybody is saying that. Yeah, you can't you can't get product, uh -huh. um, and when you can get product, you have to get on their pre-existing lists and whatever and pre-order it that way and have mm -hmm. your credit card on file to be to be sure you're going to get something mm -hmm. um you know the stuff that people really want even if you're on their pre-approved list mm -hmm. like the proof silver eagles i didn't get any of them wow. and i was on the pre pre list wow. so um i'm not real thrilled with the u.s and they mint. used to be good and they yeah. just declined yeah. or have they always been crappy no i mean they used to be at least you you can get product uh -huh. okay you can't you can't even get product anymore so huh. And when you do order it, it's just overpriced. I mean, who wants to buy a silver proof set? Here, a silver quarter proof set. Five silver quarters. Uh -huh. I have to charge $85 for that. Oh, that one's 85 bucks, huh? Why? Why? Uh -huh. <laughs> Why? <laughs> well. That makes no sense. And the silver proof set, I have to charge $120. Mm -hmm. Because the mint charged me $110 or $105 or something along those lines. I mean, the numbers are just stupid, and there's no rhyme or reason for that. There's no reason for the mint to be charging that much money. Yeah. That's, whether you're uh, Silver Dragons, who is another YouTuber, mm -hmm. or Shell down at Smith's Coins in Lafayette, or Sherry, you, <laughs> yeah. uh, everybody seems ticked off at the U.S. Mint. Right. Um, well, I, we won't talk too much more about the U.S. Mint, but I have to take a look at these. Uh, I'm a big baseball guy. I played uh -huh. baseball okay, in college, and uh, the American Negro League. Yeah, these, these were these were cool this year, but here again, very overpriced for what it is. Yeah, unfortunately, they are beautiful though. Uh, they are cool looking. Um, and but don't forget, the U.S. Mint is a business. They're there to make money. Mm -hmm. and they're gonna get it any way that they can. Okay, well, U.S. Mint is kind of a 
you know, a category, a topic. I, 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 I don't know if I've ever even brought it up too much uh, here at the shop, but um, something that I always kind of glance over is this other cabinet over here with some like semi numismatic stuff. So I thought maybe I'd take the camera over there. Every time I show a video, Sherry, and I like pan over a case, uh -huh. I got guys ticked I, off. They're like, hey, why didn't you show <laughs> blah, blah, blah in I know. better detail? I wanted yeah. to see that. I, right, I get calls all the time. I, you know, do you still have this and how much is it and what is it? And yeah, I get people all the time. All right, so let that, me so. move over to that semi numismatic okay. side and uh, we'll take a look at that. Sure. Okay, I moved the, the... We moved, we all moved. Move the microphone and we're good to go here. Yeah. Uh, this is a display case that I uh, show and I pan over and people always want to see more of. Yeah, I get calls on this case all the time. There's always something interesting in here that people find and, oh, what was this and how much is this and how much is that? It's, it's Everything in here is foreign, so there's nothing really U.S. in here. Yeah, the, the first one I see is the ugliest coin ever made. It's the Philharmonic. <laughs> I, I'm going to get hate mail for that one, but Most, yeah, you've got a bunch of fiddles and instruments laying around on the front of a coin. And uh, Well, what else are they going to put on for Austria? What else is Austria known for? I have nothing against Austria <laughs> or the Austrian people. Uh, I love, uh, I'm a beer drinker, pretzel eater, and yeah, okay. uh, but uh, I'm not a fan of the Philharmonic. <laughs> um, the Krugerrand, uh, you know, the obviously the gold Krugerrand, mm -hmm. uh, you know, was first and historic back in the day, and then they started making silver. Do you recall when they started making the silver Krugerrand? I mean, oh, it was pretty God. recently. For, yeah, within the last ten years. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. that that old. I mm -hmm. mean, what's this one? A uh, twenty? No, that's a twenty twenty one. I want to say it was within the last five years or so. All right, and it, it was. I don't believe it was that long ago. And then the old pandas here, mm -hmm. uh, the one thing, I, I don't remember when the crossover was, but they used to be an ounce, now they're less of an ounce, so just right. a heads up to my viewers that, you know, depending on when you're, and I'll put it on the, uh, in text on the screen to right. let everybody know what year that happened. But uh, are those popular? Oh, God, yeah. yeah because okay. it's one of the few things that is interesting. They change the design every single year, so people love the pandas. Don't so. you wish the eagle changed every year? I wish they did something more interesting than what we do, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what, what, yeah any strong thoughts on the, the Type 2 or the newer eagle design? I think it's horrible. Yeah. <laughs> but here again, we're not known for coming out with anything interesting in coins, so I, I wouldn't ex expect anything different. So Yeah. These are the famous Queen's one. Beasts, right? Yeah. This little section here. Yeah. Which was the first one to I come out? I have no idea. Sweetie. I have no idea either. No I know people idea. go nuts over them. Yeah, for whatever the reason, I don't know why it's such a popular series. Yeah. I mean, this one is 2016. Okay. 2019. 2017. 2018, 60, mm -hmm. 17, 18, 19. 100 bucks, huh? That's and another 18. These are two ounces of silver? Uh, yeah. yeah, they're two I, ounces. I'm looking through the camera and this trying to read at the 17. same time. So. Yeah, they're all different prices. Okay. This one's 100, this one's 150, this one's 140. So they're all different prices based on. Oh, my daughter's what like it this is. one. This one's got a unicorn. 2020. On it. Oh, this so. one's cool. So yeah. 2016 is the first one I have, so I, I would assume that's the first year. Yeah. I'll be, oh, this is a cool one. See, here's the problem. I was um, thinking, well, those look pretty cool when I see them on other guys' videos. Mm -hmm. And But if I start stacking these, uh, you know, I'll just get hooked. And before you know it, I'll collect this series and the next cool series that comes out and the next one and the next one. And that will... Uh, put a dent in my silver stacking right you know it, right cause cash it's, it's way overpriced silver <laughs> for what it is but yeah but it's, i mean it's cool but it's highly collectible this particular series i guess my concern with collecting various series like this is that you never know which one's going to be a home run right you know right. you collected the queen's beast because it's cool right and and it's valuable now uh as well but say some other series comes and you pay more, you know, you pay a right. high premium for something that turns out to be a dud, right. then you're with, a, you know, a lemon well, of a series. I mean, what's, what's cool is a lot of these countries, you know, Canada, Nui, um, Great, even Great Britain, uh -huh. uh, they're coming out with, with coins that have such cool designs, uh -huh. okay? We don't have that. We have... <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I mean, 
I, I can see people going for stuff like this because mm-hmm. it's interesting. It's it's neat. Yeah. You know, when was the last time we did something that was really neat? Uh, you've got uh, the uh, pandas there. Yeah, you got plenty see. of those. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a there's a lion on that one. I don't know what that is. Which oh, right there. Yeah, is a whoops. I don't sorry. Have you break your case there? No. Uh, this one is a Nui. Okay. Nui. That's a pretty cool look at lion. This is another one from Nui, and it's got. Can you, can looks you, like a Jewish, wonder, Jewish tree or something. I wonder what one. the estimate as to how many coins the queen's face is on. Uh, oh, <laughs> somebody! You know what? Years. Somebody. Someone was just talking about that the other day when they were in here, mm-hmm. and uh, I, I wasn't even paying attention to the conversation. I probably should have. So that's a good Google. Yeah, question. I there mean, she's been queen since she was twenty, well, and yeah, she's one hundred and ten right, years they old rule now. rule over all. She rules over all these different countries. So, yeah. you know. Uh-huh. And uh, speaking of that, you've got a nice Britannia down there. They have that's a beautiful design. That's a swordfish. Let's check that one out. There. Oh, where? Here. Yeah, here. right there. Sorry. That's okay. Ooh, that's another. That's Canada. There we go. That's kind of cool. Canada with a swordfish. I know. <laughs> I would imagine a northern pike or something like that. But how about that lion or uh, tiger down there? This one? Mm-hmm. Australia. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, there she is. No, I take it back. This was not Canada. This was Cayman Islands. The oh, okay. swordfish. <laughs> I was, was going to say. Sword, Cayman Islands. Oh, uh, kookaburra, there's uh, Kookaburros. Yeah, yep. you've got Couple everything the Perth Mint does is good. Oh, yeah. They they have whoever their artists are for, you know, their different coins. I yeah. mean, they do a lot of really amazing stuff. Okay. So. Well, hey, uh, not really my cup of tea, but uh, thanks for satisfying my curiosity. No, and no. for the guys who are always wanting to see what's in that what's display, in this case. a little bit uh, better detail. <laughs> sure. Uh, there you go, guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> hey, guys, special shout out to my channel members who support my efforts to visit coin shops and bring the experience to you. And thank you, the viewer, for watching today's episode. It is now time to reveal what I purchased. This one happens to be a first for me, but every time I flip a coin like this over, I see something and this voice pops up in my head. Her ugly muggliness. Hey, some of you may recognize that voice. That's none other than the pistol packing pilot, an awesome YouTuber. And uh, hey, thank you for watching episode seven of Sherry Week. Hey, what a whirlwind this week has been. I've never posted like this ever before, and I gave my best salivate metal impersonation, and boy, it about wore me out. Uh, but hey, let's get back to that contest. Uh, this one does qualify. So if you share this and come back and comment, let me know where you shared it. Uh, this is going to be it. It ends at midnight tonight. I will reveal the winner tomorrow uh, when the winner is chosen by the random comment picker. See you all tomorrow. Tee. Okay.